And Jamie Cagle joins us now to explain more on microbursts. And Jamie, are we out of the woods for now? Uh, for today, things are going to be fairly quiet, very much in comparison to what we had last night. That is uh, to be expected. But as far as the microburst is concerned, uh, a lot of folks uh, probably are aware that, you know, we talk about updrafts and downdrafts within a thunderstorm. The updraft supplies the heat, the moisture it needs to thrive. The downdraft is that cold air. And they will work side by side. But what happens is after a bit of time, and this updraft can no longer support everything that's pushing into the thunderstorm, that cold air and the rain will then accelerate towards the ground. The updraft can no longer support the thunderstorm. The thunderstorm is beginning to collapse. You'll hear me refer to it that way. That air that's accelerating towards the ground has to go somewhere. So it spreads out and it spreads out and it moves at about upwards of 100 to 150 miles per hour. And it can move out in all directions. Typically, you find it probably no more than about two or three miles. But again, that is what the microburst is. And these will produce uh, the damage similar to a tornado. So there's something uh, not to be uh, messed around with. And you get that with thunderstorms that collapse, some strong thunderstorms.